guys welcome back to the channel as you can see we are on the floor again and I thought that this would be a better angle than on my desk because I have really big boxes and I don't want to lift it up too high so they're just sitting in front of me on the floor right now hope you guys don't mind that I'm not sitting in a proper chair or I'm standing but we're gonna get on with it but basically today I received these two giant packages one is from chapters indigo and the other one is actually from Macmillan Macmillan don't know how to say the publisher's name. Oh, hi. Thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. I'm so sorry, but I was in recent contact with Macmillan and I asked them if I could, you know, take a look at some of their titles and they were so nice enough to send me this big box. It's mostly filled with their 2019 and their 2020 titles and I can't wait to show you guys what I got. So you might have also noticed that I don't really do book hauls on my channel simply because I kind of receive too many books each week to keep track of all the books. And then if I do a whole monthly haul, I think it'll just be too much because I think it'll be like on average, I receive like 30 books a month and then I buy a lot of books myself. So on average, a haul can be between 50 to 60 books and that's just not great content to make or at least it's not the best content that I could put out here on my channel so I figured you know that's not something I would invest my time in so I thought weekly hauls might be more of interesting things since it's more condensed and then that means that the video is shorter that means that there are more chances of you actually watching the video but without further ado let's get into some titles that I received today so the first book that I received today is Foul is Fair by Hannah Kappen and this book is actually a young adult novel about a teenage girl who is trying to get revenge on all the boys that wronged her. Now it sounds like she is very smart and she's very conniving and I think there is also murder or some mystery involved so I think I'm going to walk in expecting a thriller novel-ish type. The colors of this book is very gorgeous by the way and this book comes out in February 2020 so if you're interested definitely check it out. The next book that I received from Macmillan actually matches with my sweater that I have going on right now but it's called Crossings by Alex Landrigan and this book is seemingly a very interesting novel. It breaks all the conventions as it says on the back of the book and it is written in three different parts but can be read in two different directions. I think what it means by that is that you can read it conventionally meaning from the front cover to the back cover or alternative chapters and then you can just read it like that and it still makes Makes sense which is really cool in how they or how the author developed the story and how the publisher went to print with this book. It spans in the time of 150 years, seven lives, and two souls and it goes from Paris to Nazi occupation to the Pacific Island. If you're a fan of historical fiction I'm sure this book is definitely for you. I don't think this is the finished cover yet but it's already spooky enough with its one eye. The next book that I received is Been There, Married That by Gigi Lavengi. And this book is actually a book that I saw on Instagram that I absolutely adored. The cover is adorable. It has the illustration uh, design cover that everybody's doing nowadays, but it's really beautiful with its pink and salmon and bluish colors. I love it a lot. So this book is actually about a girl who is, well, she's a wife to a husband that she no longer loves and she just wants to call it quits. So she is trying to take back her Hollywood life by getting a giant divorce and she will do anything it takes to divorce this man. I believe it's going to be filled with a lot of drama and a lot of outrageous characters. If you like books that are very dramatic and I guess fun and flirty, I think you'll like this book too. This one actually comes out next year in February 2020. So make sure to check it out if you are a fan of these stories. It's also said that if you like Crazy Rich Asians, you'll also like this book as well. The next book that I received is an adult fiction novel called A Good Neighborhood by Theories and Fowler. And I believe this book will probably blow up very soon on Instagram if you follow a lot of people that read a lot of adult fiction. So this one actually comes out in February 2020 and already it has a lot of quotes from a lot of big star authors like Jodi Picoult, Emily Griffith, and a lot more in the step back pages. And everybody is just raving about this book and saying how 
they had to read it in one sitting and actually discuss with people about it like it's really hard not to is what they're saying and uh, I can't wait to read this dramatic fiction novel um, they don't really give you like a full synopsis of the book maybe just like a step back note page from the executive editor of this book but basically what I got from the gist of it is that it's going to be about race class and living with someone or living beside someone that you don't see eye to eye with and it's just really open for discussion it's a it's a very hot topic nowadays talking about class and religion and talking about race and things like that and I can't wait to dive into a book that talks about these really hard-hitting issues the next book that I received is another adult fiction novel called The Second Home by Christina Clancy and this one comes out in summer 2020 and I don't really know a specific month that it comes out but it's just approximate it's just an approximate amount of time. This book is about three siblings, I think three sisters, and they are revisiting their memories and nostalgia of going back to a summer home that they had before and they're revisiting their memories and I guess this story is going to be very focused on family drama and how to live with family members and siblings and different things that happen throughout their lives and we get to go through their journey with them. And I think that this book has is another big contender to be blown Blowing up on Instagram once again because I find that a lot of um, Instagram people that actually read adult fiction novels they really like dramatic family fictions and realistic realistic ones at that and this sounds like it's going to be a home runner. The next book that I received is Big Lies in a Small Town by Diane Chamberlain and this sounds like it's going to be a mystery thriller fiction novel. And it's told from two different perspectives I believe or at least it features two different characters. One character is set in 2018 and the other character is set in 1940. Now Morgan Christopher is serving time for a crime that she didn't commit and she is working at or she is staying at a woman's correctional facility and she basically lost all hope for her future because she lost her job and she lost basically everything alongside with her record. So when she mysteriously gets an offer to work for an art house in exchange for her immediate release, she jumps at the chance. She knows nothing about art, but she's going to go into it and see what she can do just so she can be free and try to live a normal life. There she knows that the art is created by none other than the character from the 1940s. And we soon learn that there is going to be a mystery surrounding the artwork and the artist herself. So if you are a fan of thrillers and mysteries, definitely check out this one that's coming out next year in January. The next novel that I received is The Escape Room by Megan Golden and this one sounds exactly what the title is. Now if you guys haven't been to an escape room before, basically it's a form of entertainment basically. You get locked into a room, there's a lot of riddles and clues to solve and once you solve all the riddles and clues, it's supposed to lead you to an open door and you can escape the room. Otherwise you're pretty much trapped in the room until the game ends and you wasted your $20 or, how, or however how much money you pay to get into the room just to escape it. Now this one is about four different characters. They are top financers, top bankers, top investors, top people. They climb the corporate ladder and they're doing really well for themselves. So as a team building exercise they actually get locked into the escape room themselves and when they quickly find out that solving the riddles and solving the clues aren't really going to get them out there and that they are actually trapped in there until they solve all the riddles they are really left to their own devices and they realize that their actions that they have taken to climb the corporate ladder might have been the reason why they're trapped in the room it sounds like this book is going to be filled with a lot of revenge and also they do mention that there are characters that they're going to have to kill in order to get out of the room so if you're a fan of thrillers and psychological thrillers and things like that definitely check out this book i'm actually really excited to read this book after reading the synopsis because um this stuff kind of interests me. So the last book that I received from Macmillan is Silka's Journey by Heather Morris and this book is a historical fiction novel about this girl named Silka. Now Silka is sent to a concentration camp and quickly the commander-in-chief or the person who's in charge notices how beautiful she is so she is taken away to serve as his personal lover or someone in the bed. It's completely really sad to even read this part already but what even happens next is so when the concentration cap is liberated she is accused of sleeping with the enemy and she is sentenced to a Siberian jail where she is forced to serve her time there and through her time there she learns
learns more about life and working together with all the other women in jail. So if you're looking for an emotional journey type of style kind of book, definitely read this one. The author actually wrote The Tattooist of Auschwitz and I've heard of that book before and lots of people have been raving about that one as well. This one comes out in October 2019. So so that was all the books I received from Macmillan and thank you so much for sending all those books. I can't wait until I read all those thrilling stories and all the emotional ones as well. Moving on to the next part of the book haul, we are actually moving to the big package that I received from Chapters Indigo. I actually work with them in promoting a lot of their new titles, especially their staff pick of the months and their Indigo book box. Now, if you guys are not too familiar with Indigo book boxes, they're basically a book box that you order online on their website and already you can tell what's already inside the box. You're, nothing is left up for guessing. You know exactly what you're getting and that's definitely one of the perks of purchasing this book box. And it's just one-time purchase. It's not a subscription so you don't have to worry about spending like a certain amount of money every single month and receiving boxes every single month. It's just you hit checkout, you buy, and you get it. So the book box that I got to show you today is the Serpent and Dove book box. And I guess because I already spoiled the title that's already inside the box I'll show you how it looks like look how gorgeous it is it's also I believe the staff pick of the month for the month of September if I have that correct this cover is absolutely gorgeous look how metallic and shiny it is I love it and it's pretty thick as you can tell right here, but it's going to be the perfect fantasy read to read in the season of fall. As you can tell, I dressed up for this video and wore my big baggy fall sweater. I'm not too familiar with what Serpent and Dove is about. It's actually a story about witches and I guess a very old church and they have this never ending war against each other. Nobody really likes the witches and the witches are running away. So our main character, I believe is Louise, is actually shocked when she meets Reed and and he is actually from the church and they fall in love. Now I think what happened last time was that I joined HCC Frenzies. It's a book event that I went to and it's from HarperCollins and HarperCollins actually said that this book is a high fantasy novel or it's a fantasy novel and it includes some steamy scenes and that is something that we hardly see in YA so I'm very intrigued to read about it and to see just how steamy why it can get nowadays. Now moving on to the things inside the box, you always get a note from the author as well. She kind of tells you a little bit of story about the book, maybe her thoughts and processes, and it's usually a little cute thank you note. The next thing that you can expect from this book box is actually a pin from Epic Reads, and this one is following the Three Dark Crown series, and it's a mystery pack. So you don't really know what pin you get. There should be at least three pins so you can collect them all. The next item that you receive is actually a pin from Serpent and Dove and it's a gorgeous golden snake or like an S shape and this is so pretty I think I'm just gonna attach it to a bag or attach it to one of those um, curtain things like those ribbon things where you put all your pins to. I have a friend named Shelly and Shelly collects a lot of pins and I just want to be like her because she's so cute. So the next thing that you received is a There Will Come a Darkness set of playing cards and this is I believe based on the book. There Will Come a Darkness by Katie Rose Poole and I can't wait to see if it's actually fun. It looks like you set them up in this way and then you play a game. Well the next book that I would like to talk about is We All Love the Beautiful Girls by Joanne Pro Prolux. Prolux. I don't know how to say her last name but this one sounds like it's going to be another like heartfelt family drama type of book if you're interested in this one. So this one's actually about a couple and then they realize that their best friends or their mutual best friend has cheated them out of all their life savings. And on the same night that they find out that they're basically messed up and they're broke, um, they realize that their son actually passed out in the snow and slept the whole night and presumably he's dead from hypothermia. So it's a story about how they decide to cope with the loss of their son and also the cope with the loss of betrayal and obviously I guess anger and hatred and possibly revenge. So if you're interested in a story like this definitely pick this one up. I believe this book is already out because I think this book is actually a finished novel, a finished cover. It's gorgeous and mad. So the last novel that I received this week is One Night Gone by Tara, by Tara Laskowski. I don't know how to say names. 
nothing's new. So this one is a thriller and also a mystery novel from the sounds of the back. Again, this one is about a girl named Maureen. Now Maureen goes to a summer house, summer cottage, and she goes there and she's spending her time there and she loves it. And then she leaves and then 30 years pass or however many years pass and she gets a divorce and she comes back to this summer home because she wants to reconnect with herself and make herself happy and whatnot but then she realizes that a girl actually disappeared from the house or disappeared in the area from 30 years ago and now she needs to solve this mystery or she's looped into this mystery and she's compelled to know what's happening so there are darker secrets to be revealed and if you're a definite fan of thrillers and suspense definitely check this one out so that is it for all the novels that I received this week. Thank you to all the publishers that sent me the novels and I can't wait to dive into all the thrillers and the mysteries and the suspense novels. I think I'm going to start with The Escape Room first because that one just sounds so intriguing. I mean, I don't solve crimes and riddles. I mean, I don't solve riddles and I'm not really the best at solving jigsaw puzzles or puzzles in general. So I know that if I was to put in that situation, I would be dead weight to my team and we will die because of me and probably they will kill me first so that they can have the chance of survival but that is all for the video for this week thank you for watching and if you like this video and you want to see more content from me make sure to hit the subscribe and give my video a like and i'll see you guys next week with another video or i'll see you in a couple of days we don't know my uploading schedule anymore okay bye Can't let you go.